Hi, my name is Nick Lampe, Chair of the York Eglinton BIA. I want to thank you all for tuning in and actually taking a look at what we're doing. The York Eglinton BIA is doing its best to move forward with the situation that we're in. Yes, COVID-19 is here and it has happened. All our businesses are going through the second struggle other than the crosslink struggle that we were happening. I can say today our volunteer board members, including myself, have gone their, have done their best to do what they can for the community and making changes. In a moment, we're going to have Lou Rose, our office manager, come on board and explain to you some of the new current changes we're doing. And I will be piping in on some of the things that's coming forward. I thank you and look forward to you seeing more of what we're going to be bringing to you. Lou Rose? Hey, Nick. How hey, are you? how are you? Good, you? Very good. Um, it's been uh, a few weeks since our last episode, but as you know, we've been working really closely with, uh, with the board um, and all our members to really uh, deal with the pandemic that's happening. But uh, a lot of great support has happening out there. And I just wanted to highlight a few things to all our viewers and all our members uh, of what the BI is doing and how we're helping uh, businesses through this time. And just um, before we get started, I want yeah. to ask you, how's your family doing, by the way? Oh, they're doing really good. Like we're cooped up uh, here at home. Uh, I have an eight-year-old niece, um, and so she's loving that she doesn't need to go to school. Uh, but we're trying to keep her uh, entertained and educated through this time. And as you can see, I barely need a haircut as well. <laughs> well, the barbershops are opening soon, so keep that posted. And I want to say thank you. I know that you're doing this from your home, and you are coming in once in a while to the office to do what you can and, and making things get things get done for our York Eglinton BIA and our community. So thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. Okay. So what do so, we have? Yeah, since the, the, our last um, episode, we revamped our BIA website. Um, and so it's... It's just, uh, it's been updated to include especially a list of essential businesses that are open during this time. Uh, and we've been constantly updating this uh, over the last couple of weeks. The one area that we're building up right now is our directory. Um, and we wanted to update all the contact information, the opening hours, all the social media contacts. So we're encouraging all our members in the York Ellington BIA to contact the office. Um, about updating sort of your profile and uh, on the directory. Uh, so please reach out to us in the office. So Lou Rose, we currently have a database, but our concern is if we launch it, it may not be accurate information. And right now we don't want to lose traffic to the website. Is that the understanding? That's correct. Um, and so, so we're, we it's, yep. And we're encouraging then all members who are seeing this right now to take the moment to reach out and actually send us current information of their current address, phone number updates, and all their social media links that they would like us to post for the micro pages that we're building. Is that correct? That's right. And a few of them have already been doing that. Um, and we thank you for supporting this process. And we're looking forward to um, updating the directory for 2020. So this homepage that we're at right now, what are those little dots on it? I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. So that's a, it's a really cool feature that Google Maps had. And we sort of pinpointed um, all the essential businesses that have been open during this time. So a lot of our restaurants that are offering takeout and delivery, a lot of our pharmacies and corner stores. Um, and so just it's just a nice visual for people to pinpoint what's currently open. And as the weeks go on and as the province opens up more of the economy, we're looking forward to more of these um, businesses open along the strip. And we will continue to update this page. And this has not been launched today. This has been now a few weeks, if I'm not mm -hmm. mistaken. So this has been about a, a few weeks or probably about um, six to eight weeks that's been up there already. Uh, and surprisingly, um, I think hundreds of people have already viewed this. So we want to thank everybody who has visited this page and actually has supported all our small businesses. You know, especially during this time, this has been really essential. Wonderful. So what, what's next yeah. for us? Yeah. So the next thing is, uh, um, it, I know there's sort of a lot of uh, questions about all the different government supports that are out there. Um, and so we've been working really closely with the City of Toronto and the Economic Development Office. And of course, um, the other two levels of government, the province of Ontario um, and the government of Canada. And there's been a host of uh, programs that small businesses could really take advantage of. Uh, and we know that that could be really confusing. Uh, we've been doing our best to promote these different programs through our social media. We've been sending e-blasts to all our small businesses out there. Um, and we're doing this podcast to help you connect to these resources. But there's this great sort of one-stop uh, shop called the 
uh, business um, TO um, support center. And this is an opportunity for small businesses to reach out with a business advisor, and they would walk you one-on-one -on -one through all of the different uh, government supports that are currently out there. So we know this could be very confusing. So you'll actually speak with a business advisor to walk you through this program, explain to you the different eligibility, uh, and explain the application pro uh, process. So, um, Lourdes, so I'm, yep. I don't mean to cut you short there, but I'm a bit confused. Is that something our office is doing, or is that something that we're linking them to something? Um, so it's 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 in conjunction with the BIA office as well. So we've been getting and fielding a lot of different calls uh, from our small members, our, our small business members. But this is a partnership with the City of Toronto that actually is offering this more one-on-one -on -one support uh, for our small businesses. So to get more clarifications, or if there's a challenging question that we couldn't answer, this is where it's coming directly from the actual city on specifics, whether it's related to any current issues that we just couldn't answer and we felt that we're not dismissing it, but here's somebody that we're forwarding that contact to. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, there's a lot of, uh, been a lot of announcements and there's been those daily press conferences from the prime minister and the premier announcing different things. So it could be very confusing uh, on what uh, information that's out there. So it, it, so this sort of business support center could help with things such as the commercial emergency re rent assistance, the Canada emergency business account, and the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy programs that all have been announced out there. Um, so I really encourage um, our members to reach out to this business center. As you can see, just click on that button to reach a business advisor. And within 24 hours, somebody will get back to you. And that is on our website. Yes, that's right. So you could click on the link on our website under COVID-19 resources on the website. And what's our next slide that you're going to show us? Yeah. Um, and so one of the really exciting programs that, again, working in, in conjunction with the city of Toronto and really with Toronto's amazing tech community, as you could see, this uh, uh, partnership with Digital Main Street. Uh, we recently launched something called Shop Here, and this has been powered and supported by Google, Shopify and uh, Microsoft. And the program has been so successful that it's actually been um, uh, expanded across Ontario and across Canada. So cities across uh, the country are starting to be part of this program. So basically it's an opportunity for small businesses to get sort of a free e-commerce website uh, for themselves. Um, and so this includes sort of when you sign up for the program and it's all free, especially for our members um, in the BIAs, um, it would be customized to your sort of your brand and your look with your logo. Um, you would get one-on-one um, -on -one assistance to launching sort of your online store for you. Um, and then also you would get continued support around marketing, um, figuring things out such as shipping and inventory to get those uh, products out to your customers. Um, and so this is a free program. It was launched a few weeks ago um, and about, I think, 2,000 businesses across the city of Toronto has already participated. And I know a number of businesses within RBIA, and I think including yourself, Nick, uh, have started to register and sign up for the program. Um, yes. So again, we, we encourage everybody to take advantage of this is an amazing program. And, and the one thing that we should tell people is this is a free set, setup. So, you know, there's a lot of been challenges right now for small businesses that are really worried about, am I doing the right decision and so mm -hmm. forth. Uh, and what's really nice about this, and I've taken advantage of it today, is that it actually helps you step by step on saying, what are you wanting to do? And the nice things about it is that it assigns a person to you. Uh, it gives you approximately about 90 days free uh, to try. Now, it is free to set up. It is free to try. But it gets to a point where that it once you have it running and you're happy with it, there is a subscription base to it. And it'll explain that as you go through. But what's nice about this is that at the point of the 90 days, if you feel this is not working for you, you don't have to continue mm -hmm. the subscription, nor do you have to do it moving forward. But it helps you get the presence. Now, it doesn't only do e-commerce. It actually helps a lot of the people that are also looking to set up appointments, uh, if in case they want to do appointment managers. And it allows a lot of people to do simply, you know, if they want to do specialty orders, like a lot of the restaurants that do want to do pickups, this is another option that you can to do sim simple similar things and simple things similar to Uber Eats. Uh, and then we encourage you to do that. So again, one of the advantages, take advantage of this, folks, for those that want to, you know, explore the online presence. Yeah. Um, and so again, the, you could visit our website um, or you could go directly to digitalmainstreet.ca slash shop here to find out more of the program and how you could participate. Um, and then our 
final point that I wanted to bring up and our, our next item um, is, um, as you know, the province of Ontario announced to the Premier that we're heading into stage two, uh, where we're starting to open up more of the economy. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, this is limited to the rest of Ontario at the time being. So outside of the greater Toronto area or the GTA, but eventually we'll, we will follow suit uh, within Toronto and within the York Ellington BIA. But the city of Toronto is encouraging us and encouraging all our small businesses to start um, planning for the reopening. And so, as you know, there's a lot of barber shops, uh, nail salons, um, beauty shops and, and tattoo parlors within our BIA. Um, and so this Toronto Public Health Authority um, Department has released a, a set of new guidelines specifically for this sector. Um, and so we're encouraging all our members to visit this website, to read the guidelines and to start preparing their shops um, for the reopening eventually within the next few days. Um, so there's a great uh, list there uh, for sort of personal support, uh, personal services, but also there's a, a set of guidelines for restaurants as well, especially if you have in-person uh, dining. Um, and you could, again, we will have these links and resources on our website and on our social media. Uh, and if you have any questions, always please reach out to us here at the office. Uh, what, what way would they reach out? Is there a phone number? Uh, yes, there's a phone number. <laughs> and uh, the phone number for our office, and we will obviously put it down here, is 416-789-789. 1835, or you could also email us at info at yorkbia.com. So folks, listen, we're, we're, we're reaching out. Uh, this is one of the mediums that we're taking right now, and we're looking to always improve. One of the things we're going to encourage you to do is that if this information is valid, let us know. If you felt this information wasn't valid, let us know. We're doing everything we can today to move forward with current ideas, suggestions, and help to the community. Coming in the coming weeks and months, we will have many things that we are presenting, as you know, that has gone forward, that the city has approved and federal has approved to support small businesses. So again, let us know what you want to see and what you want to do. Sorry, the Rose, I didn't mean to take on. No. There. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, we've been had a remarkable following on our social media. So we're encouraging everybody to please follow us if you haven't done so already. So we're on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram, and our handle is York Ellington BIA. Now, these are the mediums that we're asking people to reach out to us. If you don't want to call us directly, here is where you can. And at the same time, if you're not a member or a, a follower, we ask you to join. We ask you to follow. We ask you to like our postings. This is how we're going to know we're on track. And most importantly, again, we want to thank everyone and all our volunteers and members who have been part of the York Eglinton BIA and showing their support. Lou Rose, again, thank you for all the effort and hard work that you're doing. We wish you and their family all the best, and we look forward to seeing much more and more to come. Thank you so much, Nick, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Word on the Street. Thank you.